Why do you do that to me? I just put a new battery in. Pretty sure the battery is new, but it's already a... Uh... Well... Anyway. I'll see you guys in a second. Good morning, by the way. Oh, what a wonder. I found a new battery. I was pretty sure that the battery I put in was new. Because I took it from the... the oh, blah, blah. <laughs> Whatever you call that. The thing you put the thing in so that it's like recharging. The recharging machine. But apparently, um, no. I am so grateful for this, Sandra. Thank you once again for giving this to me. For gifting me this magical device. Okay, one thing I do just want to point out, I have actually been thinking about changes on the channel. And before that you panic, it's nothing negative. The only thing that might change is that I'm not going to put the titles like... Oh, I'm not going to write weekend reading or daily reading on the pictures or in the title. I'm going to mention it in the readings, but yeah, I need to switch things up. I could feel that something needed to happen and maybe just do more pop-up readings. It might not be more than 10 minutes. I always say that, right? And then I just keep on bleepily, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> My good, I'm good at talking sometimes. <laughs> One word just takes another word. You guys can clearly not see the candle. Anyway, how is, how is, how is your day? Well, I guess I can say that. Oh, there's not a good candle for that. No. If there's wax in this, these ones can be there, then I need to dig it out and, oh, that word. <laughs> Sometimes my words, right? <laughs> So I will just take another one. I hope for the best. But I have channeled through messages. It's the same thing problem. Did I take this? <laughs> what is today? <laughs> oh my god, it's smoking now. I clearly took the wrong. Oh, and one thing I do also want to mention here. Just a little warning. If you write weird comments under the, the videos, I will block you. Is that understood? Obviously, if you can't see this, I guess that you can't see this. <laughs> but yeah, if there is weird things written in the comments, which I'm going to say to YouTube, so you close your eyes. <laughs> you close your eyes, you close your ears. <laughs> if there is sexual undertones in the comments, I will block you, okay? Thank you. Now you know. Yeah, I guess I bring out weird stuff in people sometimes. <laughs> Are we all clear? 444. <laughs> sometimes you just need to be the buzzy boss and be like, nope. Nope, butterfly. But we have an upcoming full moon in Virgo. And oh, with this full moon, there is a lot of... Uh, <laughs> There's a lot of focus on getting our stuff together, in a way, especially when it comes to finances. There's a lot of organization happening. I guess we have been prepared for that. <laughs> so a lot of you guys are probably going to find yourself being like, what am I actually paying every month for weird stuff? So that might be a thing. That might, might be a fun activity. When I heard another reader talking about it, I was like, don't want to hear about that. <laughs> and I guess, I guess it's, you know, I guess it is a time where we are organizing our finances and uh, money and stuff like that. It's not the most fun, but we do it anyway. So I just wanted to put that out. But when I tapped into the energy, and this is not really going to be a 
full moon in Virgo reading is just something that came out. I was guided to talk about this, okay? But something is being activated with this Virgo full moon. And for a lot of you guys, there might be activation in your fourth house. Obviously, you can look it up. Did I write it down, by the way? Yes, I think I wrote it down. I don't really think that I'm getting a being affected with this full moon. At least not with uh, when it comes to the degrees and stuff. Oh yeah, well, let me just tell this to you. Let me just share this with you. So this full moon is obviously in Virgo. 11 degrees in Virgo. Mutable signs. Actually, interesting with the 11, right? Huh. The mutable signs are obviously Virgo, Pisces, Gemini, and Sagittarius. So look at where you have 11, 11 degrees, or close to 11 degrees. Uh, you're really going to enjoy this full moon if you have 11 degrees, or close to 11 degrees, in Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer, or Scorpio. Okay? Hey, yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. But there might be something with your fourth house. <laughs> might be something with a motorcycle. There might be something with real estate. Some of you guys are going to ask yourself um, the question if you are hiding or what you are hiding from. Just in general, are you hiding? In any shape and form. But regardless of this being activated with your fourth house or not, look closer at what's being activated. I mean, obviously, they do say that it's like 11 degrees, but it's 11 that way <laughs> and 11 that way. <laughs> well, so maybe I should look closer and see if there is something being activated. But again, it's not all the time that we have activations with full moons and new moons. No, that is true. Regardless, something is being activated. Some of you guys are considering starting a business or project. That is a yes. Spirit has been pushing you in that direction for a long time. Some of you guys are definitely going to do this at this moment. Maybe in combination with the full moon. Maybe there is this like energy of like, are you hiding from starting a business or project? This camera is having its own little life. When it comes to the white balance, what you call what you call that? Anyway, if I look like a ghost, it's not because I am a ghost. I promise you, I'm real. <laughs> there is a, there is another sign here with ten ten. So pay attention to ten ten. It's a sign that there is a fiery entity that's being awakened in your life, whatever that means. And the last thing is trust your strength. Okay, yeah. Well, I did pay attention to 10, but not 10, 10. So we're using the animal, spirit animal wisdom. It actually just hit 10, 10. <laughs> okay, spirit. What is this? Fiery energy being activated. So you guys, you might be like, I don't see any fire. I don't feel any fire. Well... <laughs> It can be activated anyway. You do not need to know when and how your fire <laughs> is being activated. Let me tell you. Ancestral healing. Your ancestors are holding space for you to heal your past. I feel this full moon really has something to do with that. I heard spirit say you did good. You did very good healing that thing. Healing that wound. Some of you guys have been crying. I did cry yesterday. <laughs> it was because I was watching The Greatest Showman. I've been drawn to watch it for a long time. But I remember that the first time I watched it, I was crying a lot. So I've been, for some reason, I've been holding back. Just been listening to some of the songs. But then I watched it yesterday. And yeah. Then I cry all the time. Yes, I did. <laughs> Well, I, uh, <laughs> I was just about to say I became, I'm becoming a sensitive little being, but it's good to be sensitive, right? 
I mean, I am healing the Scorpio moon. Oh no, <laughs> healing. I'm learning about my Scorpio moon. Are you still hiding? Because that is the... I'm just going to call this a rabbit. What is the energy? What is it that you want them to know today? We got this card yesterday, people. <laughs> we got this card yesterday. That was the reading where I talked about this like energy of like trusting. Um, oh, <laughs> huh. trusting your um, the intuition and your manifestations and the signs, right? I pay attention to something because one card that came up and I was a little, I was a little bit confused about it. But we had the blue eyes, right? The wolf is having blue eyes. What it means, I have no clue. But heart medicine. Let go of that which does not serve your highest good. I mean, it is a full moon in Virgo that we have. I know this is not a full moon in Virgo reading, but clearly something is happening. We also have wise woman. The past card is always connected with the past. The past card. <laughs> the last the last card, the back card, is always connected with the past. So with the raven, we actually had something with the raven yesterday too in that reading. We have wise woman. A change is coming. So the change is coming. So you guys might have been letting go of something. I did hear something about last weekend, but it could have been whenever. Oh, honeybee. I think that's it. Divine Feminine, you are being called on to rise. Hmm. Is it the last season for roses, by the way? Well, well, I guess it depends on what rose it is, right? Some roses blossom later. <laughs> and some not. <laughs> Maybe that is a message for you that you're blossoming later. <laughs> you like a wine. The older you get, the better you get. <laughs> okay, I just wanted to check the um, the wolf thing to see if there is anything interesting we need to pay attention to. If it's tough with you, isn't it going? Oh yeah, that's why I actually that's something that confuses me with this oracle deck. the um, The list is not in order. It's like. A big mix. I like when things are in order. When things like A, B, C, D, whatever else, you know, <laughs> that is clearly not the case here. So give me a moment while. Oh no, while I find it. Then we have whale, dolphin, deer, tiger. I mean, that is just confusing. Twenty nine. Maybe there's something about uh, the twenty ninth. Past energy, future energy. Well, if it's future energy, that's the that's the 29th of September, right? Oh boy, earth and air. So it brings medicine to your heart. So there's something that's been healed with your heart. Malachite. It's actually interesting because I've been drawn to using malachite again. Uh, rose quartz and pink calcite. I didn't know there was a pink calcite. No, I'm confused. Calcite to no. Oh, that is jasper, right? But the red is that kind of side. Yes. <laughs> anyway, Google. Okay, so your heart is going to guide you and make sure that you're walking on the path that is connected with your highest vibration. And actually, the, the raven and the wolf, and maybe even the bumblebee, might be your protector. So pay attention to it, like spirit guides, maybe. Yeah. Are we clear? Have you tapped in with the spirit guides lately? <laughs> I actually, well, I'm not sure, but now that I said that, I feel like I have had a dream. I don't remember my dreams lately, I don't know why. <laughs> well, 
We know why, because a lovely viewer actually did explain why, right? Thank you, whoever you are out there, blessing us with understandings when it comes to our dreams. But uh, yeah, I just felt like there was something about me dreaming about a wolf. I also, again, when I woke up, I also had this feeling of like, I dreamed something. But what was it? And I actually woke up with a with a sentence or a song or something. And Sandra did not write it down. No, she did not. So that is poof gone. <gasps> the sun. Stand up for what you want. The Empress New Beginnings. Giving birth to something. But also someone made a comment about the Empress. What was that again? Because when I read it, I was like, I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find it. You guys are so clever, really. You guys should have your own channels. I'm just saying. Maybe some of you guys have. If you have, put it in a comment. Mm. Was it on the new? Oh boy. <laughs> oh yeah. It was here. I remember when I was reading it, I was like, did, did we receive the impress? But I guess we did. Okay, listen up. Tarasana. Did I butcher your name? Empress energy is full trust in the divine plan. And you did actually make that comment in the video where we talked about trusting the signs, right? I didn't know that about the Empress. But it makes sense that the Empress keeps coming up. It's like, do you have full trust in the divine plan? I, well. I guess that we are having full, uh, wow, <laughs> look what's coming your way. There might actually be something about a project. You will have success and fame. And yes, you're worthy of that. So you guys, you don't feel like it's like for you. I mean, it can be in whatever. It's a new beginning. It's victory. <laughs> okay. So what else do we need to know? I'm here being like, I don't want to make this reading too long. Fight for your passions, don't fight with people, don't compare, don't compete. Just flow. Never say guys, it's just in your mind. I mean, it's the card that comes before the victory, right? So I think some of you guys, you need to just have full trust in the divine plan. It might actually be the title. Having full trust in the divine plan. Keep working on whatever it is that you're working on. I also, a lot of the times, I see the aid of this aid, right? <laughs> yes. I see the aid of pentacles as this card, or it carries this energy of like, okay, you made all this, right? At some point, you also need to start to use your skills, or you need to sell your services, or your items, whatever it is, you need to do something with what you have created. So instead of competing and comparing, maybe it's time to just do. White butterfly. Because this is the outcome. I mean, you're taking the steps, right? Hello. Money is coming your way. Wow. Let's come. I don't know why I want to take let's come. That's why. We do have the temperance. Whatever it is that you're doing right now, you're being guided by the divine. Hence why you need to trust in the divine. Obviously, the temperance is a card of balancing things, right? So maybe if you are confused, you just need to balance out your thoughts, your emotions, um, connecting with the wolf spirit or the raven spirit or the bumblebee spirit again bumblebees right a honeybee well it is actually a honeybee but i'm talking about bumblebees right now <laughs> bumblebees are just a wonder in itself right they have a big body and tiny wings and they can actually carry that fluffy body of theirs yeah for some of you guys it might be very random but it might be something about buying land acres <laughs> wow Investing in a building or investing in something with land. 
could be a house or something but it you know the message was land or maybe that's what you're doing is it abandoned is it just a field with cows maybe no cows <laughs> pay attention to your dreams too or something that happens at night that's it people this is your message okay thank you have a magical day and i will see you in the next reading toodles